So we should be able to go straight down. Let's not get puked on in the process. Run! Bubba's here, and he's not happy. Should be a big door somewhere over here. Maybe this. Yeah. Huge area. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. It's written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. I think you just put them in. This isn't really a puzzle. I can probably put both of them in at the same time, maybe. But instead I open the map. Oh well. Yeah, there's apparently a big noose in the middle here. Perhaps a warning to the prisoners. Like, don't try any shit like Shawshank Redemption. We'll hang your ass. There we go. Time saver. I inserted two tablets at the same time. That's the sound you make if you get hung. Just so you know. James, come on. Stairs are not that complex. You almost fell again. There are three ropes hanging from the scaffold. Oh yeah, that part's not till later. Never mind. I'll do a quick corner search around here. See if they put anything in here, but I don't think they did. It's just a huge, unnecessarily open area. But I would rather it be open than have it full of those guys puking everywhere. We don't need another pool party. I got a horseshoe. And that is piece number three to the puzzle. I think that's it for the prison too. If it is, and that's actually shorter than I remember it being. Can't remember which one had the first aid kit and which one was broken. Of course, I would pick the wrong one, though. Somebody's following me. You brought this upon yourself. Thinking they can just sneak up on me and pew on me. You could have had a peaceful life here in the prison. Well, except for maybe getting raped by Bubba. Instead, you chose to die. Which, in a way, I can't really blame you. I'm sure Bubba is hard to deal with. Literally. Our goal is to get this thing open. There's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left where there was probably once a handle. So we shall MacGyver our own handle up. So we melt the wax and stick the horseshoe in it. Voila! We've created our own handle. Sure, why not? We'll say that that's another floor down, which brings the count up to eight, I believe.
As I approach the door, I get the whiff of some rotten smell coming from inside. Let's not go in there, then. Yeah, it'll make sense later why I'm keeping track of how far down we go. Yeah, all the doors stink. Dead bodies everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. I think he says something like, did that just move? The corpse smells nause na nauseatingly of rotten flesh. That seems to make sense. A horrible smell is coming from the hole. There's like bodies stacked in there. It's fucked up. My god. In the hole. I didn't see that. Yeah, I'm sure this place smells awful, so bleh, let's leave. This corpse into this hole? Me? Into this hole? Since he thought that that hole kind of went deeper than the others, we'll say that that was two floors. Which I think brings us to 11 now? 11 floors down. Oh, I forgot about this whole area. Another hole. Do I really have to drop through it? Ugh. My legs are going to be broken from this. I just know it. Whee! I don't think that these jumps hurt you. That'd be pretty lame if it did. I'll check, though. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. My legs are blinking. They're pissed at me for jumping. Alright. So, 12 floors now. What am I looking at? Hopefully some freaking crutches. I need them by now. What are you looking at, James? Make up your mind. Shotgun shells. No, no, no. I'm trapped in here, aren't I? Son of a bitch. What if there was stuff up there? Oh, well. They lured me in here with the goodies. I've fallen for their trap. Now we ride a long ass elevator even further down. I think we've passed hell by now. What's this? No elevator music? I can spin in circles. Damn, how far are you taking me? <sighs> Damn, you could have played a full Metallica song during that elevator. I'll say that was another five floors, so that's about 17 floors down now. Eventually, it'll make sense why I'm keeping track. 